On July 25th, the leaders of the European Union will be coming to see us at the White House. And as you know, I've made no bones about it. Uh, they have massive trade barriers where our farmers can't sell there, for the most part. They have other barriers on cars and lots of other things, even medical equipment, uh, where it's very, very difficult to sell into the European Union. And they're going to be coming on July 25th to negotiate with us. Uh, we said if we don't negotiate something fair, then we have tremendous retribution, which we don't want to use, but we have tremendous powers. You have to, uh, including cars. Cars is the big one. And you know what we're talking about with respect to cars and tariffs on cars. And they know better than you do. They know better than all of us do what that means. So they're going to come and they're going to try and negotiate a deal. I, I traveled to Pyongyang for the third time. Uh, we made uh, progress on some issues. There's, there's a lot of work to do. It may take some time to get where we need to go. But all of this will be taking place against the backdrop of continued enforcement of the existing sanctions. Uh, the North Koreans uh, reaffirm their commitment to denuclearize. Uh, we're making progress along the border to get the return of remains, a very important issue for those families. We think in the next couple of weeks we'll have the first remains return. That's the commitment. Uh, so a progress certainly being made there. Uh, still a fair amount of work to do, uh, but uh, uh, a very hopeful place that we find ourselves with uh, making this strategic change for North Korea and giving them an opportunity for a brighter future for their people.